Welcome. Welcome again to another Sith List reaction video. Randy's to my left. Roger's underneath. And another dragon to my bottom left again. Right. We are doing House of the Dragon once again here on the Sith List YouTube channel. Uh, this is episode six, if I'm not mistaken, right, gentlemen? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Six. So we get a significant time jump if, if uh, right. everything is going to script. It's going to be 10 years since uh, Kristen Cole bashed in somebody's face at a party, which was just, less. It just feels like it was yesterday or just five days last ago. week. Right. Or seven just days last, Which is totally unnecessary. He didn't need to do that. He did not need to knock somebody out and then beat them until they couldn't. Yeah, that was pretty crazy. Breathe anymore. Uh, but anybody got any uh, <laughs> thoughts? Provocations? I, uh, here's my thought. I, I'm really a little bit worried about the 10 year jump only because we're so uh, we love these new characters and these actors portraying these new characters. Mm -hmm. And now all of a sudden, when the queen makes her stance in her biggest moment, we're going to get a new actress playing the queen. And mm -hmm. We're going to get a new queen for uh, Renera. I mean, a new princess for Renera. It's possible, yeah. Yeah, well, it's definitely well, yes. going to happen. It's new actress, possible. Right? We'll get a new every actress. Every actor's changing? Not every, just multiple. Like, I think there's three, <laughs> three or four. That's a possibility. Uh, yeah. I have yeah. noticed that they're very good at, they've. I don't want to say mastered, but they are very good at their time jumps. It's yeah. pretty much been yeah. nothing but time jumps every other right, episode, right, right, right. every two episodes. So uh, I'm wondering, are we going to get any more dragons? Uh, we didn't realize, but the last episode we got a new dragon introduced, yeah. which was right. uh, Princess Rainus's dragon, Malus. Which, yeah. so they're gonna it sucks because these dragons are gonna end up killing each other, if I'm not mistaken. Now, are we gonna even recognize the dragons? It's been 10 years. Oh, come on, man. <laughs> Just <dude. laughs> we, we, we fell in love with these dragons, now they're gonna you know, switch them up on us. We're going to fall in love with a whole lot more, man, because they're going to be eating and burning each other left and right. So it, it is it is yeah. kind of exciting, though, because we can fall in love with these new actors and actresses just as much right. as we did the old one. So let's do it, man. Let's uh, let's let's uh, give them well, a chance. Speaking of falling in love, then let's just get right to it, everybody. How about we subscribe to the, the uh, <laughs> that <Netflix> too. channel? <laughs> you can subscribe. You can like you can comment. I was going to ask if you do that at the end also, but I will ask if you can do that at the end also. So please sure. hit subscribe Speaking of fall in love, subscribe to, to us and fall in love with all of us. Fall in love with us twice, thrice. Speaking of dragon, let's get on to the next. House of the Dragon, episode six. Let's go. Oh, no. I have her baby. Keep breathing. Oh. <laughs> Kicking like a goat, princess. Oh, cool. The queen has requested that the child be brought to her immediately. Oh, what? what? Man, I'm going to be very upset. Yeah, because we're going to get a totally different queen. Yeah. This, yeah. This is about to make me very upset, man. Oh. Princess? Screw oh, my that gosh. Guy. And look. Screw that guy. He's her guard now. She's just standing there. Oh. Yeah, Your good. grace. Oh, Where is man. Where is but, my grandson? His hand is gone. <laughs> Everybody's like, yeah, what's what's If you don't uh, mind, Your Grace, your daughter has exerted herself heroically and should rest. <laughs> don't fucking don't touch my baby. What what's wrong? No. Oh. Sooner or later you may get one who looks like you. <gasps> That's because the guy that picked her up at the fight, the guy that picked up Renair and put her on her shoulder, he's the father of her child. Is he not? Mm. Oh. Oh, yeah. Can you imagine? Yes, a That's just tasteless, man. Okay, so let's pause it here for a second so we can break this down. So the, the guy that took him during that wedding ends up getting in a relationship with her. Hence, he's her guard. <laughs> So they get close. They they have three babies. None look like Leonor because obviously he's not right. having intercourse. So with her. so every again, there were so many other things happening at the reception or party or pre wedding party that during that commotion between uh, Sir Kristen Cole and the Night of the Kisses, uh, during that fight, the new hand is the father of this guy. 
Lionel Strong. He's the father of Harwin Strong. So he, used, if you saw during that fight, he signaled. Yeah, yeah, no, I remember signaled, that. I remember that. He said he quote, gave him save a head nod. the princess. And he yeah. went and saved the princess. So, okay. Again, so fought, okay. everybody's right. theory of how, even though Otto was making moves, he was still trying to be noble and keep the realm and everything. Right. And, you know, but then the and new Randy, guy. Yeah. Like as Randy was saying. And the Randy new guy, was saying last week. Yeah. Right. And so the new guy is like, been using his manipulations but also has his own ulterior mm. motives and here they are shady shades. working out and bearing literally bearing three fruits oh look at that bad boy oh dude that's a trip bro which one's gonna try to bond with this one? oh look at him oh hell no dude Man, I'd be like, oh, oh, he kneeled down to him. Is that what he did? Yeah. Oh, this is straight Jurassic Park. They're gonna have the goat. Mm -hmm. That's so rad. Whose dragon is that? The princess Rhaenyra is brazen and relentless. Well, come. Oh, what a bitter, wow. bitter, oh, bitter man, dude. Whose idea was it? Oh, okay. Oh my God. When you will ascend the throne, and Jocera's Targaryen will be her heir. So. Oh, you are nearly a man grown. How is it that you can be so short-sighted? You are the challenge! You are the challenge, Egon! Simply by living and breathing! That's cool. Oh, that's Caraxes. She's yeah. got Vagar! Well, she's... I think they're together now, right? Oh my goodness, that dragon is huge! Oh my god! Egon the Conqueror. Egon. Egon. The tenants would pay their tributes annually to their new Targaryen lord. Continue. Mm -hmm. Peace and its allies rise again. My aim is to protect Pentos from the lustful eye of the Triarchy. Aid Pentos in this, as Aegon once did. So he settled down, huh? Yeah, but they're all over the eastern part of the Seven Kingdoms. But here in House Martell, that's a good one. A simple transaction. We have dragons, they are gold. We are more than this, Damon. We are not minstrels or mummers who play at the pleasure of an alien prince. We are the blood of old Valeria. At my end, I want to die a dragon rider's death. Not that of some fat country lord. Don't stand too upright, my prince. You'll get knocked down. Oh, see how they're in green? I mean, yeah, they're in green. Heavens up, boy. Sir Christopher. You question my method of instruction, sir. Well, I merely suggest that method be applied to all your pupils. He's gonna Fisheris. beat the crap out of these kids. You spar with egg on. <laughs> there you go, there you go. Uh-oh. Don't let him get up. Oh, oh, yeah, catch that and push him back. They're gone. You forget yourself, Strong. That is the prince. This is what you teach, Cole. Your interest in the princing's training is quite unusual, Commander. Most men would only have that kind of devotion toward a cousin or a son. Yeah, oh. knock him out. Hmm. Play stupid games and you get stupid yep. prizes. He's become a total <laughs> dickhead, man. Yeah, no, not a good guy. The cook gives you a good clear wound. Shame on the whole of House Strong, because I laid my hand on that insufferable coal. You have laid us open to accusations. This is it's a completely different show to me right now than, yes. than what we've seen, which is yes. very, which is very cool. Yes, <laughs> you know yes. what I mean. Yes. Uh, so it total it has the like the uh, secrecy and the espionage, but it's completely all in the midst of the family and the people that are involved in the court. 
at this point, I think what we're getting now is everybody's justifications for where they're going to stand once the Dance of Dragons begins. So right. these are all the, the, this, the justifications and the motivations. Right. So obviously, Alicent needs to maintain and snap her sons, or at least get her, her get Aegon to understand that he, she, he has a, a right to the throne just as much as Rhaenyra does. And Rhaenyra's got to protect her honor, her family's honor, and also just in st- and you know in protect her her, her children illeg- quote illegitimate children even though yeah it is it, it, the rules are she's flaunting the rules but I think she has a good reason to mm-hmm. she's she's always shown that she shouldn't have to in the first place rules and tradition sometimes are meant to be broken at least in my eyes so I can see why she's you know she shouldn't be the heir. It should be Aegon, according to the traditions, but she was named the heir to the throne. She's supposed to ascend the throne. Yeah, no matter what. Her all. sons are now supposed to ascend the throne. Uh, it, yeah, this is, you're right. It is a completely, it seems like a completely different show. And I, I, so far, no like action or anything, like any like real, you know, sword fights or anything, but this has been very good so far, man. Yeah. yeah. Randy, you agree that you feel this, the tone is, it's completely different, but it's still kind of Game of Thrones. Like it, it's a trip. Um, yeah, there's there's kind of like a certain degree. I don't know how to exactly put it in words, but it yeah, it feels a little sappy. Yeah, like yeah, there's yeah. A certain like like a soap opera, like yeah, like a sappiness. novella kind of. Yeah, it feels yeah. like a novella right now. Like yeah. everything's very much like, oh, you did me wrong. Right, right. Carl's been fighting there. He showed me. A- be back at sea. Are you mad? And I have played my part here. I am owed some... You are owed nothing. You do not desert your post when the storm lashes. The wise sailor flees the storm as it gathers. Oh, what a dick. Very well, then I command you. Oh. As your princess and the heir to the throne, you are commanded. Not going out tonight. <laughs> yeah, you ain't going out tonight. <laughs> oh, because she doesn't have a dragon? Mm. Come on, Damon. You're asking a lot from Damon. Dude. Just be a decent man. Yeah. So far, he has. You do not sleep. Well, how can I with you haunting my every move? Oh, see, less. Same, great. Damon. Doing great. If we may move on, my lord. And lords. yet, the Brackens and the Blackwoods will use any excuse to spill each other's blood. We should address the latest developments in the Stepstones, my lords. I'll never be shut of that blasted place. <laughs> yeah, yeah, he's like, I'm done with the Stepstones, man. <laughs> Watchtowers, a fleet of ships, a garrison of soldiers sent to hold our ground. We cannot afford it. Our Look great. at these two just going at each other. Infinite. We must consider the cost to our subjects. I must the agree. cost of war is greater. Yeah, like she's not saying I that. have felt the strife between our families of late, my queen. And for any offense given by mine, I apologize. She's, she's trying to throw an olive branch. Yep. My son, Jaceris, will inherit the Iron Throne after me. I propose we betroth him to your daughter, Helena. A dragon's egg is a handsome gift. The king and I thank you for your offer and we will consider it duly. I'm being endlessly fussed over Lionel. It's a wonder I can visit the privy alone. Your grace. What might this errand be about, Lord Lionel? Your Grace, I feel that I have come to resign my position as Hand of the King. What? Ever darker, I can no longer serve you with integrity. Damn, man, she is just... Oh, oh gosh. Oh. Can you truly suffer the same affliction if it came to I would not. Mm. Or murderer. He's going to have somebody kill his brother. You've been sentenced to death by hanging. What the heck is going on here? (laughs) What? Why would they... What's going on here? Yeah, good good call. Uh Uh-oh. Another girl. Another girl. Another girl? Or... I've reached the limit of my art. The child will not come. By way of the blade, 
But I cannot say for a surety whether it lives. Or the mother survived it? No. Oh. Are we gonna do this again? Yeah, we can't, we can't, we can't. No, 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 no. They are Dracarys! 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 She's she's trying to kill herself? Oh no, 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 no. Oh my god. Kids know, huh? He knows. It's how and strong my father. Am I a bastard? You are a Targaryen. I mean, he could at least teach them how to fight. We're finished here. Right. We're leaving. He's not doing anything. Oh, he sent them to kill. <coughs> oh. A folly, a futility. Through them, you imagine you cheat the great darkness of its victim. You will persist forever as if they would keep you from the dust. But for them, you surrender what you should not. You may know what is the right thing to be done, but love stays the hand. Dark monologue on leave, man. It's built in hubris by Heron the Black as a monument to his own greatness. You pass judgment. I assume you will write to your father No, I did not wish for this. Yeah, you did. There you go. Episode six of House of the Dragon. Not a lot of uh, brutality. I mean, just a small amount, but well, <laughs> they know how to end an episode. This season so far, I will say there's either if, if the episode drags or in, 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 you know, maybe doesn't have the same like rhythm or pace, but mm -hmm. there's always either they started off great. It there's a climax of some type or they just give this monologue of just how and moves are being made and they end the episode and you're just like, OK, that gave me the rush of blood I needed. Uh, right. You hinted at a dark monologue at the end, Randy. Yeah. You got any more for that or what? <laughs> well, at first, I, w I wasn't sure if the uh, narrative was being like pro that story. I was like, that doesn't seem. But then considering who it was coming from, I'm like, oh, OK, this is like the false interpreter. Mm -hmm. He's trying to sway her in a direction that has her like look past all the things that really do matter. So he can have control over them. Right. And and you know what? It's weird. So Allison was really flexing her muscles, you know, and flexing her power and standing up to Rhaenyra and, and telling off Viserys. But then all of a sudden, when she finds at the end of this episode that her little any of her whims that she throws to Laris or any whims out there that, you know, that people will act on and get a result that maybe she's not expecting that it's a brutal or violent result. She's kind of not ready to be able to play that game, sure. you know? Yeah, yeah. I, I don't think she necessarily knew that was going to be the outcome. At least I don't think they're trying to give off that impression. I think she really was speaking from a position of not knowing what to do. She had done everything. She exhausted all the options she thought she had within her power, and she was just uh, consorting with the wrong person and telling them them that exactly stuff, he could use that to his advantage and it, and, it, and it was real people died because of what she wanted so right that, that's probably the first time that kind of thing has happened and she's like she has to deal with this now for the rest of her life and going back to that uh that monologue that he gives at the end now that i think about it he was actually talking about his family yeah yes he was talking about how he has no ties to his family right right him even more fucking because uh, I know. Right. that's exactly <laughs> well no and think about it he's the, the his name is laris the clubfoot he's been he's the second son so he sure. has no inheritance as far as the mm -hmm. kingdom of westeros and the rules go in a song of ice and fire you might as well be a bastard if you're the second son you have nothing mm -hmm. you right. are you just happen to be part of the family and right. that's it so not only is he the second son he's also disabled 
So yeah. in that time, you have to be big, strong. You have to be able to fight. Harwin represented all of those things. You know, not only that, he got to right. consort with the princess and have children. And he's got everything. So his whole life, he's been just cut out. So why not take this chance to, you right. know, pursue some power of his own now that he has the queen's ear and do what he has to do? Uh, Roger, what you think of the whole episode? In general, well, I, I, like I said before, it just felt like a totally different vibe than what we saw the first five. But I, I'm totally down with it. I, I like how the mix up, and I really love the new the new characters, the new actors playing the same characters that we right. we've come to love. Uh, uh, I loved it. I thought it was great. I thought it was very Game of Thrones. This at the end, uh, it's just Littlefinger. I think we said in the little break we had uh, mm-hmm. reminded you of the guy Clubfoot guy reminded you yes. of Littlefinger, and and I think that's. Definitely what we're seeing. He's going to be the master manipulator for the rest of the series, I believe. And um, Cole is, I mean, people have become, in, become hardened and they become an a- asshole. So, you know, you know, Cole seems like he's just doesn't care if he dies. He's going to say what he wants to say and he's going to do what he wants to do. But he's, and I, there's a, obviously a hint of jealousy when he sees those kids. You know, oh, just the hint. Definitely. Just the hint. Just the hint. Uh, and you can tell he still, he still loses it. He can't control his temper. Right, mm-hmm. right. No, and he's exerting that and asserting that through the training of the kids. Right, right. right and right. of course, showing favor to the silver haired children and not the dark haired children. Right. As exactly. Harwin tried to bring about. Uh, I, I also think that monologue meant just the children in general. There's a major theme about children and childbirth and uh, family position and family strength. Mm-hmm. I mean, look, man, uh, Lena killed herself because she couldn't bear a child. She's already given Damon two daughters, if I'm not mistaken, and not a son. And it goes back to the first episode where the queen was trying to make sure that her son was born. And they were they even hinted at, you know, performing some type of brutal cesarean section to bring the child out. And it was like, no. So now what does Damon have to tie him to anything? That just frees up another right. X factor and another wild card to go. He could he could take this. For someone who uh, had some type of stability, who knows now? He could act any way he wants to. Yeah, and it looked like he was wavering from like being uh, a totally different person. But uh, yeah, who knows? who knows? Well, anyways, another great, great episode. A lot of, lots of names and callbacks that were dropped in this episode. If you like what we're doing here and you enjoy the ride, please hit the subscribe button. Like the, like the video, please. It helps the channel out. Uh, also, comment any information yeah, there's please. lots always informative in the comments we love that from the sith listers and uh for randy randy or raj and the dragon mm-hmm. this is the sith list i'm less and we're out <laughs> <laughs>